hi what's up how is it going today's video we are going to be looking at how to create a jota in quarter 2021 so without further ado let's step into it so these are the three pictures that we're going to play around with with this you know background right here that was downloaded from freepick.com uh it's actually free if you go to freepick.com and uh you know search for this image definitely you're gonna have this you know so without further ado let's step into it let's go over and just change the rp to a5 let's look at a5 size good so what we need to do now is to go ahead to our rectangle to create a box that fit in into the page just like so good so right now let's park clip this into place that picture let me show you how to power clip select the image go back to object then you locate power clip then place inside frame select the frame automatically snap right inside the frame so let's hold out key select the picture then adjust the picture just like so good so let's power clip this picture as well power clip then Hold out key adjust to fit in just like so good so our next step right now is to go ahead and create objects on top of it just like so or better still we just have to create we just have to be creative about this right click to convert the object to curve then you go over to your uh, shape tool you pull it up just like so so after all of that so let's head over to our gradient uh, effects gradient tool which is uh, an interactive field to apply matter uh, apply to the object then you go over and select this place select the color then use your color eyedropper tool right from here sample the color right from here then can you see that so let's go over to the uh, second color pick then use your color eyedropper tool let's sample the lightest color right here Good. can you see that so what we need to do is to just right click to set that line to none then let's park clip this into place good so hold out key sell the object then you adjust just like so good so our next step right now is to go ahead and just type the name at 50 at 60 so what we need to do is to go ahead and change the font to uh, copper then hit control k to break that into pieces then let's make this a bit bolder so what we're going to be doing now is to head over and just you know uh, click your shape to close the tracking just like so let's change it to white then let's go over and just you know uh, hit control k okay, to break that into pieces delete this then let's go over and just you know change the fonts to times uh holding it all up then let's go over and create a perfect circle just like so make a copy in word just like so then let's squeeze it this side a bit good combine the two together change it to white so what you're gonna do now is to go ahead to your uh, gradient effect which is the interactive field tool double click the middle and apply gradient right there we are going to use make it you know silver then let's go ahead and set out light to none so after all of that let's just slice it all up a bit so after all of that so hit on F uh, 12 with that level pops up then you make it one check on scale with objects uh, check on behind field it's okay good make it uh, right drag it on top of the six then you will let the mouse so when it pops up then you choose copy your properties can you see that so in this case what we're gonna be doing now is to reduce this a little bit no don't let's reduce it a bit then let's go ahead and apply you know 
gradient uh, shadow effect just like so good can you see that go ahead to object then you break for objects into pieces good so what we're gonna do is to group it all up then let's change this uh, uh, to white good then let's go ahead and change it to scripts so make it bigger apply white right click to set the outline to white as well then hit on f12 let's stick in the outline let's make it three good so go ahead to this then let's look at you know uh, convert our file to object automatically it's been converted then select all of this so what it all up so what you're gonna be doing now is to right drag this on top of the gnf release your mouse then you so when it pops up then you choose copy your properties automatically you have it so let's adjust it a bit good 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 can you see that so what we're gonna be doing now is to just you know apply shadow tool to that good can you see that go ahead to objects break drop shadow apart here we have this good so let's make a copy of this let's delete this so what we're gonna be doing now is to make this object a bit bigger so we have this kind of background so let's put clip this into place then make it bigger a little bit good here we have so what we're gonna be doing now is to type thank you thanks for coming So what you're gonna do is to go ahead and change the change that to try jan or better see let's use a futurity good so what you're gonna be doing is to hit ctrl k make this a bit bigger so here we have this centered within each other pull it up so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far as i always say see you in the next video bye for now